All right, so we're here at Rock City Mushrooms. I'm with Ben, and we're gonna walk through the initiation strategy for shiitakes. Um, so we've got this rack full of shiitakes, and you wanna show yeah. us what, what's Pan going on? one over. I guess we, we took these out of the walk-in cooler and kind of oriented them on the shelf yep. the way they're gonna be in here. Yep. Nice. Um, so a lot of times with the shiitake, uh, you really need the whole bag off. Uh, because the shiitake, regardless of whether or not the bag is really pressed on them, they'll fruit anyways. Uh, so we try to get most of the bag off. Uh, we cut it from the bottom and keep this tray uh, on the bottom. So we'll spin it around, cut that bag, kind of connect to our old cut, and then just pull it up, and then pull the bag right off. Uh, and then that goes back on the shelf. Thank you, Willie. You're welcome. And uh, what we like about the tray is, uh, the plastic tray, is it keeps the shiitakes off uh, the rack. They, don't, they won't fruit off the bottom because there's this little protector. And also it soaks up a lot of water. Uh, when we put them out, we'll rinse them off. Uh, with, we just hose them down. And a lot of times you'll get a little extra water in the bottom, which is good because shiitake will dry out uh, as they incubate. Um, and so that extra water will help with a, a better flush. I was noticing on this bag here, there's some pins yeah. starting in the bag. Is that something you like that? You're like, oh, I don't, I don't like that. Or you know, yeah. what do you think about pinning when the pinning starts inside the, the bag? Yeah, so um, at this stage, it's, it's a good, I would say that's, that doesn't hurt. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of good. We know that that bag is going to fruit. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if you catch them late because they started in this uh, confined space as, as like child mushrooms, uh, they'll kind of grow up to be kind of funny looking yeah. um, and they, the caps will be uh, a, a bit malformed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, but at this stage, this is pretty good and it's pretty typical to get, um, to get some blocks that have um, uh, some pins on them. Yeah, so that'll just be treat that. Like yeah. normal. Yeah, just Great. cut it right up. And, and you know, sometimes uh, there'll be some fruits that will form in that bottom uh, tray, but that's okay. Yeah. And so this is maybe five or six days later. Yeah. These blocks with kind of, I don't know, it's like fingernail height. Yeah. Of the, of the pins. And do you try and like make do you spray them at all after that first initial time or um, just at once? I think we should, it might help to spray them a little more, but typically we just spray them out when we set them out. And yeah. for the most part, um, they're pretty consistent. It's been pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, some pretty solid flushes off of them, mm -hmm. probably around two pounds. Mm -hmm. I've heard of people like knocking off little like pins yeah. when, as they're growing to try and get fewer, bigger mushrooms. Yeah. Have you experimented? With that no. at all? Or? I've never tried that, but it sounds like a good idea. Sometimes, yeah, you can see in some of these uh, ones that are more f full fruits, uh, we do get like, especially when they pin in the bag, you'll get a lot of pins, and sometimes it will be kind of small mushrooms. Um, we found that uh, people kind of like baby shiitake. It seems like uh, uh, it's yeah. a thing. It's a little less prep work sometimes. Um, and so we'll sell the little ones and the big ones. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, we don't, we don't discriminate, but it's an interesting point. Um, yeah, to knock off the pins would kind of consolidate the energy uh, yeah. into some big ones. But we yeah. tend to, sometimes the blocks won't pin fully, you know, we'll get like a pretty light pinning. And in that case, we'll get pretty big mushrooms. Um, so it all just kind of depends on the block. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. And these, this is like a block that's basically ready to harvest yeah. now. Like that seems like a really full, I mean, this, this like whole side yeah, is like, pretty sick. whoa, that's, that's nice. Yeah. And you can see the gill. So it seems like a ready, yeah, ready to harvest go. this whole thing. Yeah. And you, you cut the, yeah. So we'll cut scissors. everything off. Uh, with scissors, this one's gonna be a, a tight job, a lot of mushrooms in there. Uh, but yeah, just cut them off, uh, remove any so excess sawdust that comes with them, and um, yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for showing us your process of initiating yeah. shiitakes. My pleasure. <laughs>